okay, I decided to sift through my wardrobe to check what I really need and what I can do without. You might have heard about minimalism. To be honest, I hold in high regard anything that has to do with simplicity, elegance, utility and restraint. So the concept of minimalism sounds very attractive to me. Let's see if I can dispense with some stuff. So, this is my minimalist wardrobe, the things I frequently use and appreciate. By the way, welcome to my rebranded channel, call me QB. This platform is about lifestyle, that includes menswear, aesthetics, but above all mindset and culture in combination with travels whenever I can do traveling. I'd like to explore what culture means and how to apply to the daily art of living in looks and behavior. So, welcome on my journey. Now, back to minimalism. I discovered that there's enough stuff that I could get rid of. It's either old enough or I don't like the style anymore or the items are somehow permanently stained from constant washing and can't be cleaned properly. One reason why I sought out my wardrobe is easiness. To own too much stuff is a burden. You have to maintain it and it also takes space. Once you get rid of something that you really never use, it creates a feeling of freedom. You can really breathe out and feel truly unburdened. Also, as a man, you really don't need to have so many items. In fact, a great style consists of essentials that can be mixed and matched in various but simple ways. You can literally create over 30 outfits out of just 10 items of clothes from top to toe. Keep it simple, gentlemen. Also, I realize that out of all the stuff, I have clear preferences, what I really like to wear. So why not just focus on those and unburden your wardrobe? I would say, let's get into my favorite wardrobe quickly. We have to bear in mind that how we dress is a way of communication. I like to look nice, clean and neat and it's with the basics that you can achieve this easily. I still feel like I'm having too much stuff. Whatever I don't need, I'll definitely give away. But what basics are important for a man's wardrobe? Here's a few things that every man can and should have for a great essential outfit. Neatly sitting jeans in grey or blue, you can pair it with whatever. It doesn't have to be ripped, though a rugged look is always a great look for a dude. It makes you look casual, cool, easygoing and slightly rebellious. Smart pants make you look smart, give you authority and are also very comfortable to wear. I've got one that I used for a wedding once and another one has a checked pattern. However, I would recommend to go for something plain or with much less pattern. A white and black t-shirt is a must. They absolutely go with everything. There is nothing wrong you can do with it. They are versatile and make you look stylish because they are so simple and not obtrusive. That's the point of a masculine style. You look as if you didn't pay too much attention to what you put on. You just got up and grabbed the first thing you had at hand. So make sure you have a pair of nice contrasty t-shirts. What I like to do is to wear a stylish necklace over or underneath my t-shirt. It adds that little extra to your wardrobe and is a nice subtle eye catcher. My necklace can be engraved. You can put a name, a special word or, and that's a really cool idea, the coordinates of a location that is very special to you. I got this elegant, simple and customized necklace with my nickname on it from the vendor of my shop. I put the link for you down below where you can check it out and get a style piece at a discounted price with my promo code. This wonderful stainless steel bar necklace comes with or without engraving. It's an elegant and simple accessories to complement your looks, keep your travel memories or bring 
joy to your loved ones as a perfect gift. Check out the link down below, I'm sure you'll love it. A long sleeve button down shirt in white or blue with no massive pattern is a must for formal occasions, which might always arise at some point. Here's where I have to step up my game, as the only formal shirt I found was this one with a round neck. I like it a lot, though I need a typical one with a collar as well. The crew neck sweater is another must have. It looks good when you layer them with other stuff. In my case, I think I've got enough of those for now. A cotton overshirt is great for layering too. You can put it over your t-shirt, but keep it open. Don't button up. Showing a bit of t-shirt underneath a buttoned shirt isn't good. When you layer, keep your overshirt open. And of course, the shoes. A must have is a pair of white sneakers. White goes with anything. They match easily, so again, nothing wrong you can do here. And it will make you look really stylish. The final type of shoes you should have is a pair of dress shoes for formal occasions. I recommend loafers because they are a little bit casual and look not too stuffy. Here again I have to step it up a bit as I only have one pair of loafers worth mentioning and I need a more neutral color to pair them with pants. I think there are big benefits in minimalism. First, you save money and time. You don't need to think too much about clothing and outer appearance. Minimalistic looks provide you with a template that you can use every day quickly and easily. Also, I believe simplicity is beautiful. Our everyday life is already complex enough with all the work and social media and daily duties. It's good to keep things simple whenever it's possible. Minimalism takes away from you the burden of always wondering what others might think about your looks. It's great freedom to not care about people's opinions and if you have a clear set of clothing that you can use every day, that's awesome. It leaves your mind free to focus on the more important stuff, your inner qualities, goals, wishes and hopes, you know, your personal values. Okay, these were my thoughts on minimalism and wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please leave it a thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot. I feel and feel free to subscribe. I'm covering lifestyle, mindset, human nature and travels, basically everything. See you!